Every day you have to be thankful for what you have because you never know. You need to find the strength within you to like keep going, right? I wasn't always a caring person, but I guess from being, you know, being through the same thing that they've been through, me and my wife went through the same thing. You know, being homeless, being on the street, being rejected, all these different issues we went through ourselves so we can empathize with them. We can understand what they're going through. It's unique, because out here, right, the streets doesn't discriminate if you're two foot tall, 10 foot tall, it will, it will destroy you. You know, when the cold air goes in your bones and, and it's, you know, it, it, you know, you're sore when you wake up in the morning, it's not, it's not easy living on the streets, it's hard. People going through very difficult times. When you're homeless, it's like um, the most humiliating thing in the world. Sometimes it's really hard for people with lived experiences to really trust that someone actually cares. Don't look at it like, oh, you bad. There's no hope for you. That's terrible. I was going through a divorce, so I had nothing. I left everything, my house, my car, all that. So I basically came with what I was wearing. I had to get three open heart surgeries, and I experienced domestic violence. Then when I got out of the hospital, I had nowhere to go. There's never no hopeless situation, and you cannot grow up without grace. To have a storage system for them to, to be able to store this stuff for free is incredible. Oh, without it, it'd be a nightmare. It's become kind of a safe haven for uh, me and a lot of other homeless people trying to come up out of this situation. It's like a ladder, ladder set down in the, in the hole to help you climb out. This is a blessing and a gift. It did it help me so much. My God, I, I, I may not be here if it, I didn't have a place to keep my heart medication at night for my heart. So this place helps you to take from step A to step B to step C because people shouldn't be homeless for years and years. You have to get out of it. A lot of people do change. The little things like this are what makes it happen. So I was on the street getting high and devastated and sleeping everywhere and you're stuck in a cycle of destruction. And it goes on and on and on. There was a power greater than me that was God that just pulled me out of that. And that same power is blessing me, giving me the strength to encourage them and to share that same spirit with them. So when they come in, they can feel that. It's the atmosphere now. This is a no-nonsense place with zero tolerance for abuse and for illicit and drug activity. Everybody just knows when you, when you walk into our center, they just kind of get it. It's just like, okay, this is somewhere that I really want to be, so maybe I should probably not start trouble. These people don't just need storage. It's personal issues. They need healing. They need to be encouraged. There's a lot of need out here. And when you see a place like this, it does a lot more than it looks. We try to provide pride, dignity, uh, emotions that people don't generally feel on the outside of the gates. So it's very inspiring to see that they can bring out that full potential from within themselves. And that's exactly what our mission and values are. I love seeing people uh, coming out the showers happy. They, they transport the, themselves. They actually put some of their comments like, Oh, I feel human again. Uh, I don't feel ashamed. It helps your mood, helps you get into a better sense of self. As you, as you see in here, there's peace, it's serenity. It's more, it's more than a storage unit. I mean, I, I'm proud to say that's helped me out tremendously. Having this definitely saved my life. It did save my life, it did help me, it's still helping me. Now I am moving on, thank God, for because of this. Everyone needs a chance, everyone needs something. Now I'm moving on, progressing, I have a place. I wish we could do more. When you're doing good, you feel good. I am so grateful for this little bin. You know, I, I am so grateful for it. That's a good feeling.